Success is where you grow it. A local restaurant owner and chef has revitalized a community garden, and he's using it to give back to the neighborhood in ways that go way beyond the kitchen. Chef Alan Matthews joins us now to tell us all about it. Welcome, Chef. Hi. You have built this community garden in your community here, and it's really taking off. Can you tell us a little bit about that first yeah, before we go into the food? Yeah, it's a lot of good stuff, Juan. Uh, you know, we got this community garden down the street, so it's literally steps away from the restaurant. We tend to help a lot of kids that are in the in needy, mm -hmm. um, kids that just need something to do. We go and we help them out with the camera uh, and with the uh, gardening and planting and stuff like that. So it's been really fun. We have a lot of volunteers in the area. We're like getting to know a lot of local, loyal customers. So it's been really And you're really teaching fun. a lot of young kids how to grow their own veggies yeah. and fruits. Tell, what are you growing there now? Yeah, right now we're growing strawberries. We're growing apples. We have uh, bell peppers, tomatoes. Uh, we have a lot of lettuces and kale. So anybody in the community is welcome to come down to the garden. Mm -hmm. Anytime they want, there's nobody there charging or anything like that. We really welcome everybody to come out and, and just support the community. And That's learn a new about. skill, too. And these are yeah. some of the veggies you're growing in your yeah. garden here. Yeah, right? we even have Chinese eggplant. You know, we have a lot of fun stuff. And, you know, we, we also encourage you to come out to the garden and plant whatever you like. You know, it's, it's, it's a bunch of fun. We're there on the weekends. We have a good time with the kids. We talk, you know, talk about all mm -hmm. kinds of cool stuff in the community and stuff. And from garden to table, let's talk about some of the amazing food you have here that you serve at the restaurant. Yeah, uh, this would be our tacos. So we're kind of known for our mm -hmm. tacos. We have Taco Tuesday where we really believe in the working class and the community in our, in our environment. Mm -hmm. So these are a lot of the high quality ingredients that we serve. We serve shark, which is locally uh, local shark out of Santa Barbara. We do pork belly. We do avocado, beer battered avocado, shrimp and fish tacos. We got chicken and all your staples like mm -hmm. steak and stuff like that. Yeah. I've seen other tacos on Taco Tuesdays, those dollar tacos. Yeah. These look like no. $5 yeah. tacos. No, for, these are very high quality. Uh, mostly the veggies come from the garden, and uh, we believe in high quality ingredients without the, uh, the, high, you know, the high prices. Are you making something for us here? What we is are. This right yeah, here? today we're doing a uh, local big eye ahi tuna. Look at that. So uh, we believe in s uh, local seafood, sustainable seafood, uh, some fresh avocado. Yeah, beautiful. We're actually going to do a tostada with that. So uh, what we do is we have some white soy sauce here that we buy. Uh, mm -hmm. If you can't find this at your local market, you can get it online. It's only like $6. Okay. Uh, we have some yuzu juice, which is a Japanese citrus. Again, it's only like 4 or $5. If you can't find it at your local mm -hmm. market, you can order on Amazon. We also have a lot of good local Asian markets in the community. Right, 99 so you can Ranch Market, too, San right? Gabriel Valley seems mm -hmm. to be, you know, really, right. you can find all this good stuff. So what we're going to do here is we'll kind of just jump into it. Uh, we're going to put a little glove on, so we're safety first, you know. There you go. I'm going to put one on just in case yeah. you need help, Chef. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> you know, I actually will. I'll actually have you do that. So, you know, we have the uh, avocado and the big eye tuna here. So okay. I'm going to have you drop some black sesame in there, and I'll get you started with the little tostada right here. All right, there you go. That's a uh, fresh uh, tortilla that you guys... Correct, yeah. We'll fry them up at the restaurant. So this is what we're doing right now? Yeah, a little bit of black sesame all, all around. Of it or just a little bit? You can probably do half of that. That'd be great. Half. Yeah. Then just kind of mix it up uh, lightly with your hand. What you want to do is you don't want the avocado to smash and then right. take away from the color on the ahi right. tuna. Yeah. Oh, the this, sesame is, this is really good for you know um, uh, Valentine's Day is coming up too, so you can do this for your husband or your wife, uh, okay, you know, boyfriend or girlfriend, whatever the case may be. All right. So now that uh, that's set, you're gonna do your uh, what this would be here is the white soy sauce. The white soy sauce. Uh -huh. Kind of just drizzle it, it over. Yeah, we're gonna use all of it there. Oh. Then we're gonna add the uh, yuzu sauce. That's gonna give it that citrus, that balance. You want the, right. you want it to be tart, you know. And this is also going to start to cook the ahi tuna as well. It's almost like it's a ceviche. Yeah, yeah it's almost, almost like a ceviche. Yeah, yeah but what you want to do is you want to you want also want to dress the citrus at the last minute, uh, so that you can keep that that color and that texture on the ahi tuna. Mm -hmm. And from there on, it's just easy as, as plating it onto the tostada. We're going to finish it with a little bit of uh, micro cilantro. And look at look at look at this chef. <laughs> we we always have somebody sneaking in. We always have somebody sneaking uh, in at the dude, last minute, have it. <laughs> taking off with a, with a taco. Okay, cool. Wow, you can go ahead and pile it on. Pile it on, Juan. Keep going. Yeah, huh? keep going. Go Whoa. nuts. Go nuts. And this is what you would typically this get at the restaurant. This is exactly how we serve it. Um, you this know, amount of food. We're wow. not in it for the money, Juan. Uh, we do this stuff, and it's high quality ingredients. You can get this to start at the restaurant for six dollars. All right, let's go ahead and um, take a. Sure, we'll take a little gander. About 30 seconds sure, left here, no so we want to get to everything else. So we do a little bit of a dessert, uh, homemade churros with the Bavar stuffed Bavarian cream. We do a, we're really known for seafood, so we have lobster, we have scallops, uh, a lot of things like that, guacamole and fresh um, sauces and things like that. So you can always come down and ask for me and order something off the yeah. menu if you don't see something you like. We'll and Chef, you know, we have a lot of fans here of Mexican yeah, food, including we Sandra do. Mitchell and Garth Kemp. Uh, you want to try the guacamole? Yeah, try the guac. Let me get you some here. You can go ahead and break a piece of that tostada right there. Yeah. And Chef, there you go. where are you located? We're in, in Boyle Heights, California. Okay. And uh, we're right off the 60 freeway in Soto, or 
East of Arts District. So mm -hmm. it's a really cool environment. Uh, people seem to be liking the change and what we're doing. So I encourage everybody to come on down, try our Taco Tuesday. <laughs> and you know? Sandra's liking the guacamole. Yeah, How is it, Sandy? Oh, yeah, it's so oh, good. Uh, made really fresh to citrusy, order. Huh? Yeah, yeah, we use, uh, yeah, we like to have it, a lot oh, of lemon. Really uh, not too much, you know, but so good, right? mm. we're a citrus-based, I'm a citrus-based chef, so I love citrus, I love fresh seafood mm. and things like that. Yeah. This really does take us sure. to the coast of Mexico. Uh, I appreciate so that. delicious. <clears throat> and that's the idea, you know, we want you to feel like you're getting fresh, quality seafood. Mm -hmm. Um, we understand it's in Ball Heights, it's not located on the beach, but we work with local providers, so mm -hmm. we do everything local, sustainable, mm -hmm. fresh, you know, organic, non-GMO. Yeah, we're very, right. very big on that. Excellent, Chef. Thank you so much for Thanks. being here. And let me I tell you, a lot it, of Ryan. folks Thank here you. in Cape Cal are excited about this spread. For more information about Puerto del Pacifico, their secret menu, we forgot to talk about that, Chef, and the community garden, go to kcal9.com, click Scene on TV. Yeah.